Hello, people, it's Cole, your little bookworm friend. Uh, this week we'll be flipping through the Playmobil catalog. This one is from 1996. I've been saving this. I bought this way back when I started my YouTube channel as like something to look through one day when I felt like I could <laughs> do it justice, and today's the day. I'm here for you every week with a vintage magazine flip through, so stay right here with me and let's get started. Hello. Okay. So on the cover, some wizardry going on here. It's like outer space wizardry. There's these planets up here. But over here, it's like an isolated island with a <laughs> queen or a princess or some kind of woman with a dead tree. Very fantasy, right? We have a dragon, <laughs> we have a wizard, we have like a genie coming out of a bottle. Green, glowing, maybe glow-in-the-dark type genie. The wizard here is like casting a star sparkle spell and the <laughs> outcome of the spell is that we have 96 down here. 1996 in this wonderful little graphic. How great is that? Let's open it up. Hmm? Here we are, the toy that grows with your child, Playmobil. We're introduced to three Playmobil genres, I guess. There's like Playmobil for, for babies, preschool one, two, three. Over here, this farmscape. Playmobil for blue and Playmobil for pink. Doesn't say boys and girls. It does happen to show a boy and a girl, but you know, choose your own adventure there. So here's our baby time, <laughs> baby time farm. We got pigs, horses. I'm sorry, that's not a horse, it's a cow. And I'm learning here too, one, two, three. There's also three different families that are, you can purchase, uh, well, family units for the farm. <laughs> There is, there is ethnic family, which is a deeper skin tone. That is not my choice of words, that is theirs. And then family is the Caucasian family, yikes. And then over here, um, a third family type, which is farm, tractor, and trailer. Oh, this worm, this worm coming out of this apple. Bookworm, remember I said that about myself? <laughs> Cute. Oh boy, okay. There's a little graphic down here that's talking about how Playmobil like works, I guess, for people who aren't familiar. Figures can stand, sit, and grip things. They have little cup-shaped hands. Um, most accessories are functional. This pole magnetically catches fish. I do remember when I was growing up having the uh, magnetic fish fisherman guy, and it does work. Everything fits together and can be combined. I mean, that's all true. Uh, you know, opening boxes with little tools in them. Everything is thought out to the nth degree. There's also these like sports girl, sports boy, multi kid. These are like kits where you can, they come with different kind of. Um, dress up concepts ice hockey skating skiing fishing for the boy our gal here skating tennis with cast <laughs> ow, ow. and a bouquet of flowers ow. i don't know why she's the one who gets injured but Ooh. okay now this this is really really calling back some memories for me right now playmobil special it's like a little tiny kit inexpensive little kind of it's like one person one figure that comes with sort of a small amount of accessories and maybe some kind of props and stuff to go with and also like usually like a hat or something to wear but they were like small and not very expensive and very nice to give as gifts my mother incentivized me to learn how to ride a bicycle by <laughs> uh, bribing me with these things so thank you mother that uh wasn't that effective, but I did really enjoy getting these anyway. Some highlights uh, are Mummy. I did have the Mummy. I still have the Mummy, actually. Um, I, at least I have the gold guy inside the Mummy. 
fairy tale princess is great, barefoot. Uh, she's got some doves. She's uh, gentle to animals. Axeman, like an executioner. <laughs> Enchantress with a snake, like a, a witch, one might call her. Oh, and also a countess with a mirror. Beautiful. I love that all of the all of the different figures have like these have these little specific individualized backdrops in each of their little squares. Unfortunately, Playmobil has had a sordid history with some racist toys, so some of these are kind of leaning on stereotypes that are that are not not really okay. Um, Eastern warrior, Indian, um, yikes. So we will be seeing more of that as we flip through this, I'm sorry to say. Okay, magic, magic. This is a uh, really fabulous. Oh my god! So we have uh, multiple planets here. There's a, that same dragon. It's kind of a Bowser feel with these bracelets, um, studded gold bracelets and red nails. Suspension bridge with secret trap, crystal prison, snake pit. God. Oh, so this was the one that was sort of the, the cover lady right here. Wizard's Workshop with Castle Ruins, Ghost, and Magic Accessories. Oh, so that like thing in that bottle is a ghost. It's not a genie. The ruins are cool. I love this little trailing plant here. Very nice. And the crow is also quite nice. This is a whole castle system. Let's see, what all do we have? Well, first of all, we have a glow-in-the-dark ghost represented by this really funny little graphic here. It's like a Robin Hood thing, I guess, because we have like, this is Robin Hood, right? It's sort of sneaking into the castle over here on this ladder thing. Oh, and look, there's a princess waving a little handkerchief out the window. Pirate time, jungle, pirate jungle. So pirate ship, here's some, a great jungle kit. We have this monkey, tigers, lions, alligator. Um, there's the hidden treasure, 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 hidden treasure here. A uh, shark, goat, turtle, wow. Here's just like a little, little one-off pirate with a barrel and like a wine glass. <laughs> Okay. Cowboys! <laughs> McLaren's gold mine. I don't know why everyone's getting tied up. This pirate's tied up with like some dental floss. This guy is tied up with some rope next to this explosive dynamite. So yeah, lots of um, kidnapping, you know, high drama. Bunch of buffalo. They have quite a nice plastic shine on them. Ooh, this, uh, <laughs> this like dead deer skull and body part, like a rib cage. I have that, we had that growing up. That's a quite a big piece, so it was easy to not lose. They've done a very nice job with like illuminating the interiors, even though these don't actually light up in real life. I, I, it's very inviting. The castle was the same way. Really beautiful, like super yellow. Look at that, when you just wanna go sit in there and drink some mulled wine. Okay, so here's a, our cowboy town. Oh, it says Colorado Springs. It's interesting. It's like set in an actual real town in America. Uh, okay. We have... <laughs> There's a sheriff's office here with a, with a jail that has a breakaway wall. So this little... It's like one eye pirate guy is like busting out this wall that comes down. There's a robber, of course, with a black handkerchief on his face. He's robbing a stagecoach with a real gun, as you do. Oh, they call them bandits. These guys are bandits. That's, that sounds about right. There's drinking, there's guns, there's like, this is the, they're not holding back. This is authentic. There's a uh, saloon 
um, madame outside of here with like a pink boa and heavy makeup. I remember the horses very well. So their legs are really odd. They're really stick straight. They're a lot more abstracted than other animal forms are for Playmobil. They have like a really weird shape. <laughs> very, very um, unreal. Okay, electric play train for indoor outdoor use. We have like a little kid with a camera. There's like a woman who's like a professional mountain biker or something. There's like a commuter guy with a little briefcase. Ooh, it's a uh, graffiti car. It's like a little train car that has <laughs> graffiti on the side that says Playmobil. More trains. This is like a real, uh, that was a passenger train, you know, where they let you come on with a, with a heart-shaped balloon and also let you drive the train. Very uh, open and welcoming. This one, no, this is a serious train, a train of industry. We are transporting volcano, gasoline, coal bins, what else, a welder. Mmm, I do like this. I do like the drama of the rescue. We have a, a helicopter here, ambulance. Uh, oh, this little guy here. We had this guy growing up. He's a fisher, fisherman. He has like a green vest and like waders, like rubber boots or something. Anyway, he's being taken away by, by the ambulance. I don't know, he got a fish hook in his eye or something. Ow! Shell station, branded, brand deal. Shell and Playmobil <laughs> hooking up together. That's funny. Oh, there's like a whole, whole hospital scenario. Love, love that. Operating room with like, they are wearing like green gowns and like <laughs> head dresses. You know, the hats. Playmobil is great because they are really into hats and I'm really into hats. So there's lots of hat options and the hats are really big and very clunky and kind of oversized, which is nice to handle and to play with. So we got some big, huge green like bonnets for the, the surgery. There's a dentist's office, <laughs> hospital room. They even have like authentically looking kind of beige pink plastic <laughs> dishware for the hospital room. Ooh, NASCAR, vroom vroom. Here's like a cute um, quick service fella with a mustache and a giant huge wrench. Okay, so we're transitioning to a peaceful mountain retreat. There's a, a ranger on a horse, same weird horse with those weird peg legs. We have tons of geese, <laughs> kayakers. So the cabin, sportsman cabin with extensive sporting equipment, rocks and magnetic fish. Ooh. So we have some like motorcycle culture <laughs> references <laughs> there's like a harley guy with like a hippie hippie earth earth gal they're motoring on down on a trike <laughs> very fun very uh sexy leather and lace there's also this chopper and rider he's got a red beard and like a, a black leather vest um and look at those boots and those like chaps or whatever Uh, playground! I, I like that they chose to do this odd, like, repeating balloon pattern. I, I don't know what that is, just to make sure that you really know that this is fun. Where's the heart balloon? Don't we need the... We, we have a real balloon we can employ here. Also, as always, one of my favorite things, a doll with a doll. Dolls within dolls. And I don't... I can't, I shouldn't presume to know or whatever, but it does appear that we have a boy, blonde boy, Playmobil with a doll. So we love to see it. Okay, this is like an Alpine themed 
farm type setting. More geese. We're getting heavy use out of these geese. Look at her. Look at this woman. These freckles are intense. It's like red stubble. And she's got overalls and like pippy long stocking, like Wendy's pigtails with giant red bows. That is quite a look. She's holding a stick as well. I'm not sure what that's all about. Farm girl with geese. There she is. That's a great little image. I love that. With these sunflowers. Yeah. And a rainbow in the background. This is really cool. Okay. Scarecrow. <laughs> love that. Pumpkinhead scarecrow. Ooh. It's the it's the castle in the distance. And this like mountainous landscape behind. We have our Whispers of the castle. Okay. So, it's uh, the zoo, I guess? It's a circus? It's a clown. It's a clown riding a dolphin. <laughs> With a honking clown horn and an umbrella. Wow. Okay. I guess it's like SeaWorld, but like unsafe and like non-regulated. <laughs> Okay. By the way, that was all blue Playmobil. We're not, we're moving into the pink Playmobil. Here we go. Pink, pink Playmobil is what I am most familiar with because that is what I had the most of personally growing up, even though I, I guess I had some dead cow skeletons and silver fishes. The dollhouse of Playmobil, a full house of play ideas, you know? There's a, there's a wedding going on. Very busy day here in the mansion. Here's the wedding reception. Got a pink wedding cake. It's quite nice. Ooh, we have, we have like a champagne tower. That's really cool. I guess the kids are not invited to the ceremony. They've been kind of relegated to their quarters, which is probably a good idea. Several many maids going on here. Maids, maids, maids. This is a wealthy family. Uh, I didn't have the whole dollhouse, but I did have this maid, housekeeper, server, attendant, because I still have the teapot, still have the cup, it's very chewed on, very fun to chew on that cup, so that's chewed on, and I have the maid herself. I don't have the yucky, ugly little um, hat, headpiece, don't like that, don't have that, and I don't have that fat apron either. Unfortunately, she's having a bit of a hard time here. She's spilled the whole tea service off of the cart. Oh dear, someone's going to get fired. What's remarkable about the um, mansion is that it's like expandable. You can like build up the floors. You can buy this whole separate freestanding floor and just like tack it on the bottom. So then this porch becomes a balcony and you can have a whole other level if you're that girl and can <laughs> afford such an expensive, gigantic item. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> so we've left the mansion, we've, we've headed into town, and um, what a silly day. <laughs> this is giving me very um, bonjour, Beauty and the Beast. We have spilling our, our geese out of their crate, Flower stand. That is so cute. Look how beautiful that is. All those flowers. I love these sunflowers. They're so great. Everyone looks beautiful. The women are wearing, all, they're all wearing these little scarves. They have hats with feathers in them. This uh, vegetable small business owner has silver glasses like um, etched into her face. Love her. I love the way this garlic is all stuck together. All of these vegetables, I'm sure, are just, like, stuck together in, like, square units you can slide into the box. <laughs> we have a, a fishmonger who's, like, threatening this customer with a stiff... What is that? Weapon-like fish. Uh, oh, okay. Down here we get to see the um, all of the rooms. The mansion rooms. Dining room includes working furniture figure and accessories. Yes, I have the dining room. And yes, the furniture does work in the sense that, you know, like this china cabinet, those doors open, the drawers open. 
incredible like functional attention to detail as they were saying earlier with the fishing <laughs> example. This uh, living room set with a fireplace, yes I have that. I don't have this creepy picture of like a haunted, <laughs> haunted girl. I, maybe I lost that on purpose. Uh, bathroom set, I did have that with realistic fixtures and accessories. I remember the water, like the hot water tank thing that's attached to the shower. It's kind of interesting because it was like designed to be era correct for a indoor plumbing for a Victorian bathroom, I think. So it has that like high tank toilet that uses the gravity for flushing and then the shower is attached to the, wa the hot water heater with a little opening door for um, you to like stoke a fire inside of. I remember the blue glass sconces by the mirror were like the blue glass is just like so incredibly beautiful <laughs> to me at the time and still I really love the way that in the background of all of the pink Playmobil interiors we have this like double window with like a little double arch across the top there with a gradient outside this is just so nice the way that they did this orange with like the cityscape in purple in front of it and then the cutouts for the windows show through. That's our last page. So the back, oh boy, this is genius. So they have at the top in this oval, I would like name, you put your name here, and then it has every single thing in with the like ordering number next to it, each thing in the entire catalog, the page that it's on, so you can mark, you can fill in a little like bubble next to what you want. Someone did that. Whoever owned this before filled it in with pencil here for all the things that they wanted. And then you give that to your parent and say, here, go get busy. Because of course, like circling things in a catalog, everyone did that. If you grew up in an era where you, you use paper catalogs for chopping, like I did. Um, genius to just have like this built in system for <laughs> placing your order right away. So let's see. What did the previous owner of this catalog want to get? Oh, he wanted that trike. <laughs> the, the cool hippie couple. Graffiti car, passenger car, work train, the large Victorian dollhouse, and the living room. Dream big. I love that ambition. And the expansion floor. Girl, reach for the stars. Oh, and to Finish it off, we get all our fantasy crew riding this red nail polish dragon into the pink and orange sunset. So there you have it, Playmobil 1996. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel if you do. I will see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care.